we lost our dog Dylan, who was a boxer, on the 30th of June 2015. Before I'd even got, managed to get my head around the fact he had a terminal illness, he, he passed away. So I was in complete shock. I was completely traumatised. After Dylan had died, I knew straight away that we wanted to bring his body back with us because we wanted to bury him. The vet said we could have him out for a few days and then we'd need to think about freezing him. So we had him out on his bed um, for a couple of days. During that time, I was thinking, shall I get him stuffed? What shall I do? I was just in complete shock. And that was when I remembered someone else in the UK had had their dog cloned while the dog was alive. So I called Salon Biotech, told them the situation and just said, is there anything you can do? said but we can do what we do to the cells make them grow in number and then freeze them until you're ready to do the clone or they can just stay there if you don't decide to go ahead with it we were meant to refrigerate dylan and take the cells and get the cells to them in south korea within five days we had to go to our local to, to the boot store to get all the vials and instruments we needed to to get the cells. We had to like sterilise all our our kitchen and lay them out, sterilise all the areas, shave his fur and basically follow the instructions using this biopsy tool to take some skin samples. And then we got an email saying that um, the situation of the cells is somewhat complicated, they seem to have attached but they're not growing. We need to leave it a few more weeks and then weeks and weeks just seemed to be going going by and then we got this one saying oh they started to grow because Dylan was like such a special case and it was a scientific breakthrough never been done before and I guess we just kind of felt like it was meant to be. We were like how is this even possible like it's a proper miracle so we went to South Korea for the birth it was really surreal wasn't it? Yeah emotional. Bridget came in the room and said, oh my God, he looks just like Dylan. And I was just in shock at this point. I hadn't even, I was just staring at this puppy, but not really thinking anything. And it was only when you said that, that I thought, God, it's got all the markings in the same places. It's like a few minutes old. And already you can tell it looks like a Dylan. I think I was expecting them to come out looking younger and not as formed for some reason. Being part of this scientific breakthrough is like, you know, once in a lifetime. So, <clears throat> they clone anything that's dead, pretty much. And it does not matter how long they've been dead. It does not, not, it has not stopped. It does not stop when it comes to animals. They are out here cloning people. They are doing the same thing when it comes to people, y'all. This is not a joke. This is real. They have been doing this, like I said, uh, cloning. The, when they started cloning was around 1930, 1934. They have been cloning uh, emperors, kings, queens, dukes, princes, princesses, presidents. Uh, <clears throat> like all kinds of people, like from like, what, 15, 16, 17, 1800s. And then they put them out into the world. And there are people out among us right now, like today, like they're all around us, bro. Like you wouldn't even be able to tell if they're, if they were either born naturally or if they were, they've been dead for hundreds of years. But you can tell because like these motherfuckers, like they know who you are. If you're spiritual and you're under the most high and you serve the most high, like you'll be able to tell what, who they are. Like they usually, what they usually do is like when they see you. They'll uh, stop and stare at you and their eyes will get all big like like a deer in headlights, man. And then like they'll speak to you telepathically. They won't talk to you like with their mouth, but they'll speak to you telepathically. And I've had this happen, man, with this woman who was dating a, a, this dude. I was working at Subway and they came in and I was making their sandwiches. As I was making their sandwiches, the guy, he was just, his head was down, man. He was so down. He was so completely drained. And then the woman that was he was with... She had this most sinister evil grin on her face. And there's a, that's another thing, bro. They always got this same evil grin on their face every time they see you. They know who you are. Excuse me. Damn. But they know who you are. And um, 
they always got this evil grin on their face, and then they speak to you telepathically, like how I had this conversation with her over the damn counter, man, just like, she's like, I know who you are, and I'm like, well, I know what you are, she's like, well, what are you gonna do about it, and I'm, there's nothing I can do about it, I mean, but what you can do is take your evil ass back to the basement, that's what you can do. She didn't say anything else after that. Just kept on with that grin. And as they were walking out of the store, bro, she just kept her eyes on me as she was walking out. She like, I was, how, how was she walking? And then keeping her eyes on me at the same time. Her whole, almost her whole head was turned completely backwards. And I, and the guy, I felt bad for the guy because he didn't even know who he was with. I could have told him, but then he he wouldn't probably wouldn't even believe me, man. She was attractive, you know, that's probably why he was even with her in the first place, because the attractiveness of these things is what gets people. It's it's what makes people want them more. It's what makes them lust after them more. And these celebrities, bro, they're, they're, they're cloning these motherfuckers too, bro. This isn't time traveling. None of this shit is time traveling. These are all clones, man. And there are people out there today. You, I seen, I seen videos of TF Ellers, like True Force Loneliness dudes, uh, all these MGTOW guys and whatnot. Man, <clears throat> they're out here dealing with these things, and they have no clue what they are. And then now all they can say is, "Oh damn, they always putting me down and belittling me. They always saying that I'm weak, um, that uh, I'm a pussy. I'm all this. I'm that and that." Well, that's their job. That's their job, bro. These are the children of Satan, bro. That's their job. Their job is to go out and make people miserable. They clone these motherfuckers, give them unlimited funds, give them a brand new car, give them a brand new house, and put them out into the world. Nobody knows. Nobody notices. Celebrities, man, they, all these motherfuckers are evil. They're not what people think, bro. These is not vessels that are ran by souls. These are vessels ran by demonic entities. Period. And they're all around us, bro. How do you... How do you um, <clears throat> think that there's always one or two people at every job you go to that'll talk to you all crazy like they ain't got no damn sense. Every job, every job, there's always one or two. Everything is set up for people to walk into shit, man. Their job is to ruin people's lives, to make people's lives miserable, to make you feel like shit, to make you feel like you ain't shit, to make you feel like you lower than dirt, like you ain't got no reason, no purpose on earth, bro. That's their reason for all you TFLers out there complaining about not getting any ass, man. Y'all don't know what y'all dealing with. We are living in, in, in the most wickedest times ever. We supposed to be the last generation. No wonder we're the last generation. We see this shit. We know it. It's always here. It's for people to research, for people to read up on. And the thing is, 33 million Americans don't even know how to read. See how they keep you lost and dumb? Bruh, Jude 1, 9. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said the Lord rebuked thee. When, when Lucifer tried to clone Moses, he could not clone Moses because Moses' soul was not marked. He can only clone marked souls. Souls without sin cannot be marked. Therefore, they cannot be cloned. You see this? It's in the Bible. It's all here, man. Everything. Everything people need to know about this world is in this book. <clears throat> and continue on to Jude 1.10. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. People don't know. Nothing. They don't know anything about this. They don't know what they're dealing with, the people they're with. But what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things, they corrupt themselves. You corrupt yourselves by being with the children of Satan. The children of Satan, they'll keep you wicked. This is not a joke, man. Like, I really wish that this shit didn't really exist. I really don't. But it does. And there's nothing that I can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. All we can do is pray, man, and hope for the best that the that most high, man, he just comes and gets rid of all of this shit, period, man. This is the way the world is. And people don't believe it. It's always in your face. That woman that cloned her dead dog. And then them video I made uh, recently about the re resurrected shoe bill stork. That stork has been dead for thousands of years, bro. They cloned that bird. And I just, showed, I just showed you a video that they cloned a dead dog. They are cloning dead people. They don't stop. And when it comes to this, 
uh, the woman, the man. They can make, they can clone a man, but make it a woman. They can clone a woman, but make it a man. This is the technologies that they have. So far ahead of everything. So far ahead of everybody. They figured it out. It's all deception, man. How do you how do you explain how these uh, celebrities they age funny, man? They age funny as hell. They don't get old. They don't get no wrinkles. And then people be like, "Well, they're just getting Botox and uh, plastic surgery." Bullshit. Bullshit, bro. No. Motherfucker, Alec Baldwin was a president. Used to be a president. Like they, I'm telling you, they are doing this shit, man. And there's so many of them out there, man. It has the the, the glass just got filled and it just poured all over the damn place. It's no, it's no more. It's no longer hiding anymore. It it all will come to the light. Vladimir Putin, Caesar, fucking Caesar. They had the DNA of Caesar. Crazy, bro. And don't get it twisted. They also got the blood DNA of Jesus Christ, bro. They got that, but they can't clone them. They're not allowed to. Satan knows that. Like, don't touch it. And then, then, then they don't touch it. They can't clone the, the, the Messiah, man. They can't do it. He's not marked. It's a soul without sin, bro. Any soul with sin can be marked, can be cloned. And when it comes to animals, this is the only world they will ever know. So, th that, that doesn't matter when it comes to animals. But when it comes to us, all it matters. Souls without sin cannot be marked. And, re and remember, man, Jude, chapter 1, verse 9, man. Lucifer tried to clone Moses. He couldn't. All of this is real. I know it might be hard for some of y'all to comprehend, man, but that's, what, that's why y'all minds have been, like, kept under this repression and shit by watching all these t this TV shit, read magazines and all this this bullshit music that you're listening to, it does it does not allow your mind to expand. And if your mind can't expand, you cannot comprehend things. And then when you don't comprehend and you don't understand things, you hate and fear those things. It, it's, it's, it's always there. It's real. It's all real. These ain't time travelers. These are clones. These are not good people they're not even people so like i said man all y'all out there dealing with this tfl and i'm gonna I'm also make this like a message to the tflers out there man yo just do y'all just be you man y'all the most high is doing y'all a favor man if these if these so these women out here that they're not approaching you they're calling you all kinds of names they're belittling you and everything that's their job man they're supposed to make you miserable and make you feel like shit make you feel like you ain't nothing that's their job man and y'all falling for this y'all y'all just giving up hope or y'all even either killing yourselves over over some damn children of satan really it ain't worth it this whole thing this whole life is a gigantic test Y'all know what y'all dealing with out here, man. Pay attention. I can go on and on about this, man. I've been dealing with this for 11 years now. I've been seeing these motherfuckers all around, bro. And they just, they always just stop, stare at me like, like they know me. And they don't even know me. And then they'll be the ones that fuck with you and they don't even know you. Well, they know who you are, but they, they just fuck with you for no reason. For no damn reason at all. They're always in your jobs, in your workplaces. They're everywhere, bro. Shopping centers, malls, grocery stores, gas stations. They could be bosses, supervisors. They could be anything. The ones, the, pe the, the people that make your life miserable for no apparent reason at all. Like they ain't got no damn sense. That's them. The ones that stop and stare at you like a deer in headlights. That's them. You hear them speak to you telepathically. That's them. No games. I'm not lying to y'all. This is real. The Heavenly Father is the truth, man. Always. Always and forever. Thank you, Lord. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. I love y'all all with all my heart. The Heavenly Father is the truth. Man, peace and blessings. Baruch Shai out.